racing is full on. It's a life, you know, it's not just a job. And so is music, you know, you have to really be ready for anything. You know, a gig could just pop up out of nowhere and you have to be ready to go. But at the moment, I'm just really enjoying what I'm doing. I'm, I'm racing. And then whenever I can, I, you know, try and do a bit of a gig and been learning the guitar as well recently. So uh, honestly, I, I've always been wanting to just go with the flow and I'm just continuing to do it. Sort of with the voice, it was, I don't even know how it came about. It was just one of them things. I've always been singing since I was a little kid. Anyone that knows me close will know that I love a, I love a song. And um, yeah, like, you know, I remember doing school plays when I was a little kid. And then obviously like racing just really takes over your life. Um, and it sort of was a forgotten passion, but it was always in the back of my mind. Sort of going out on the stage originally, I was definitely very excited, but sort of didn't really know if I was good enough to you know, be there at, in, in, on The Voice or singing in front of those world-class coaches. And when I'm singing in front of people, I just, I really get in the zone as well. You know, similar to racing, I just sort of really have a passion for it. I come from a racing family, um, and even though I come from a racing family, I didn't actually sit on a horse until I was 17. Um, I went to the race academy in Kildare, where I'm from, in Ireland. Basically, it's a nine-month apprentice school where they teach you how to ride. To be honest, I didn't know a horse's head from its tail <laughs> when, I, when I first went there, but um, you know, I, they actually split us into three groups in the apprentice school and I was in the, the lowest group, you know, the really beginner's group and I was in there all along and um, I remember thinking, geez, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to ride <laughs> as good as everyone else, but uh, first group one winner was aboard Profondo at Randwick in the spring champion. I think it was more emotional, you know, um, than, than any other race I've ever ridden or anything I've ever done. Because I just come back from injury. I spent like four, four nearly five months on the sideline. Um, I have a brachial neuritis in my arm, it's a nerve disease. And I didn't know if I was ever gonna get back riding. I couldn't straighten my arm for a good like three months. Won the Galaxy on Shelby 66. Um, it was such an enjoyable win. Obviously being such a popular horse and Danny as well, Danny's a Unbelievable, unbelievable person, his story is incredible. But, uh, you know, it's just sort of finding yourself and finding where you fit in and you really just, everything is about confidence. You know, if you, if you have no confidence, it doesn't matter who you are, you could be the best jockey in the world. If you have no confidence, you know, it really displays in your rides. And um, I just needed to get that bit of confidence and thankfully over in Australia was really where I got it.